What's up everybody, it's Man of Low Moral Fiber here. My name's Luke, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at the Shotgun Supreme as a part of my Does It Suck series. The Shotgun Supreme is the TDR shotgun with the Torg barrel, and I have it here with the Critical Hit Damage Accessory and the Cubic Zirconia skin from Butt Stallion in the Tiny Tina's Assault on Dragon Keep DLC. Also, for you to view the stats, I do have the Foregrip Accessory version, which trades a decent amount of accuracy for two extra pellets and a little bit of fire rate. I have recently taken a look at the Hyperion Development, which is the Hyperion version of the Torque Barreled Shotgun, and we can see that in comparison, the Cubic Zirconia Shotgun Supreme actually has a little bit higher damage, um, looking at the wrong version here, a slightly decreased accuracy, a much lower fire rate, a better reload time, and it actually has three shots in the magazine as opposed to four, which the development has, because obviously being the quad barrel, they do consume four ammo per shot. I expect the uh, Shotgun Supreme to be a little bit worse than the development and overkill at this point in time, but uh, I really have no way to confirm that. So I'm just going to uh, fire once so that we can get this reload here in Deception. Zero actually has this weird kind of synergy with uh, TDR reloads where if he throws them in Deception, they're actually very nice. And with uh, shotguns, that's good because then it gives you... Um, the one shot one kill bonus on your next shot which is kind of interesting so sometimes I like to get a one shot uh, one kill bonus throw that and then get another one shot one kill bonus in deception and so it works out pretty well really and uh, overall um, TDR shotguns like the Omen and the Blockhead and the Octo all do very well with Zero obviously they do very well with Axton as well and he's more widely known for them of course but um i find that zero is actually really effective with them so long as you throw it in deception you can see how little damage it did there out of deception but that's okay cool the combination of killing blow and the td or reload there enabled us to kill that gun loader so now we're going to kill uh these guys definitely need to get uh, at least one of them killed here so gonna go ahead and do that and then I'm gonna retreat a little bit because those guys kind of had a terrain advantage on me and appear to have decent weapons especially the lower one at the moment okay so now we can uh, load this guy up get a reload on him still get a kunai on this guy and then a one shot one kill and so that actually works really well in deception um, one thing about the overkill development and uh, shotgun supreme is that they uh, because they can come in elemental can get the bone of the ancients boost which the quad and ravager can't obviously the ravager can though um, oops I kind of want to reload this real quick the ravager can uh, get the explosive damage boost from you know an explosive relic but uh, I find that the bone of the ancients cooldown rate is invaluable for zero and so I'm always going to be using that bone of the ancients on zero and because of that, the quad might not really be Zero's best option, um, which it is traditionally referred to as, as far as, you know, non-unique quad-barreled shotguns go. The best quad-barreled shotgun is definitely the Twister, but the Twister is extremely hard to farm for, and, uh, you know, it's a unique, it's basically an electrified quad that has extra synergy with boar. And so it can get the Bone of the Ancients boost, it does have increased critical hit damage, and it works especially well with boar and... Uh, chain reaction and uh, it works really well with gauge and anarchy it's just by far the best uh, quad barreled shotgun but beyond that every other quad barreled shotgun is also still pretty damn good I mean not top tier level guns like the twister is but still pretty damn good um, you can't complain about any of them really I I mean honestly the uh, shotgun supreme does even better than I thought it would here um, the damage is actually kind of nice and beyond that, I mean, I can get one shot, one kills with it. The reload synergy is kind of cool. I imagine one of the reasons we don't hear too much about it from Axton or anything like that is because the Omen is so much easier to farm for and probably a superior overall weapon. So this is kind of scary because this guy here had a ridiculous weapon that, uh, you know, almost killed me. And then uh, there was a hot loader out there. So almost died there, but uh, we'll figure out a way around it now. Go for the boar here on these two, and that worked out. So we got in a sticky situation there, probably because I was playing pretty aggressively. We're going to see the uh, 
kind of strange synergy Zero has here with uh, TDR weapons and TDR shotguns in specific with Deception. So that was kind of cool. Awesome. I like that it didn't actually kill that guy until I was out of his range. That worked out really well for me. Just going to go ahead and kill this guy. And now the uh, badass should be spawning. And we'll get ready to kill him. I'm going to try to toss one up in there real quick. <laughs> I think it actually got to him, but it didn't blow up on him. That's okay. We'll go ahead and hit him once there. And then we'll kill him. So that worked out, and uh, we'll move forward. So it had enough power to one-shot, one-kill that uh, badass loader. I guess I did a little bit of damage to him preemptively with the shot and uh, possibly the reload, but mainly it was the you know deception shot there. So that's kind of cool. We got a gun loader here. We'll also blow up this barrel right behind him and that barrel right there. And then I'm going to progress to him a little bit just so I can guarantee that I'll get that one-shot, one-kill on him. And that's our next target there. So uh, being that there was something in front of him, I was just going for the uh, cheap boars there. And that worked out. I, th I feel like it worked out at least. We'll see. Now we'll go up and uh, we'll finish this guy off before his slag wears off. And that will also allow us to retreat a little bit over here and have a little bit of cover. Playing pretty aggressively, but, you know, why not? Cool. Even at range, we took that uh, gun loader out, so that was kind of neat. Definitely want to concentrate on this hot loader now. Perfect. So that gun loader has a good torque weapon, so uh, he's kind of my priority at this moment. But I want to see if I can kill him without deception. And that was a definite mistake. Uh, a huge mistake, really. I'm probably going to die. But nope, got around this box, so we're good. When keeping it aggressive goes wrong. <laughs> that was always a pretty funny Chappelle skit, when keeping it real goes wrong. I liked it. Alright, these guys lined up for the boar. I'm going to finish them off. Perfect. So you can see that even though I put myself in kind of a loader heavy situation there, I worked right out of it with the uh, Shotgun Supreme, which honestly I wasn't expecting to perform this well. So all of these uh, quad barreled shotguns are really, really damn good. The Twister's probably the best, but beyond that, I think that the Bandit version, the Hyperion version, and the TDR version are supremely underrated. I never hear anything about any of them. In fact, the one I've heard the most about is the Overkill, the Bandit version. But uh, they all perform very, very well for me. Uh, I like them all. I can't really recommend against any of them. But if I was to recommend one in specific, I think that uh, for Maya, the... Because I'm going to use the Bone of the Ancients on Maya most of the time as well. For Maya, the Twister is obviously really good because of its chain reaction synergy. But if you don't have a Twister and do have a development and the uh, Overkill and Shotgun Supreme available to you, I would definitely probably recommend the... Or definitely probably. I would definitely recommend the development because the development's damn good. I like the development. And uh, honestly, I like the Overkill and this as well. With these quad barrel shotguns, you obviously do have to watch out for ammo a little bit. You saw me buying ammo there, so um, that should give you a hint that ammo is going to be important. I just decided to kill Pervy because those other guys were taking a little bit to spawn. Pervy's basically one giant critical hit spot because he's tiny as shit and then has like five or three critical hit spots. Speaking of critical hit spots, those guys board up nicely, so we'll go ahead and finish that guy off. So as you can see, the uh, Shotgun Supreme is a damn good weapon. I mean, honestly, it's performing even better than I thought it would, and I expected, I expected it to perform pretty well, but I did expect it to perform worse, noticeably, and uh, than the over, overkill or the development, but that has not been the case. I mean, it, it's damn good. There's not really any problems that I have with it. So, I don't know. I would say that it definitely doesn't suck. In fact, I don't know. It's it's really good. And like I said, the big thing with these is that they get the Bone of the Ancients boost, which the Quad and Ravager do not. Obviously, the Ravager can get the Explosive Relic boost, though. Anywho, the answer to does it suck regarding the Shotgun Supreme is a definite no. 
in my opinion. It works very, very well, and uh, I quite like it. So, as always, guys, I do thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. If you haven't yet taken the time to subscribe, please do so. I would appreciate that. Um, but otherwise, I do hope to catch you next time. Bye, guys.